Hi! Today I am standing outside of my front door. This is my front garden and we're going to be talking about what I use when I go out plein air painting and the materials and my uh, easels and things. So um, I've been doing plein air painting for years and years. I started when I was really young. My mom and I used to go out and just paint outside. We didn't call it plein air back then. We would just call it let's go out and paint. <laughs> so my mom was a watercolorist so we would take our watercolors out into the field. Um, when we were living in South Jersey we go to um, historical areas. Batstow in the Pine Barrens was a favorite for us. And we'd go out for the day and set down our, um, a towel or a bedspread or something on the ground and we'd sit there and do plein air painting right on our laps. We didn't really have a setup. All, all we had was our watercolors and our paper and our brushes. Uh, and, and it was really easy. Um, one trip we made when I was young was to Maine. And my mom and I sat on the top of Cadillac Mountain and we painted the broad vista in the, in the distance. It was really fun. A lot different than painting in the woods in South Jersey in the Pine Barrens. Here in Florida, I live in a jungle tropical area and uh, there's a lot of close trees and bushes. Uh, but when I go out to the marshes and the beach, I get a really nice broad view of the whole landscape. It's, it's nice to have a change. So, plein air is a term that's used that means open air, so it's painting in open air. It was first used by the Impressionists the turn of the last century. Um, so around 1900, they would go out and they didn't have portable, um, foldable plein air gear. They would take full easels. Now a lot of them were lightweight easels, but I know quite a few of them just took their heavy duty studio easel and took it out back and painted in the garden and they'd take their big studio easel back in. And even the lightweight easels back then, they were... Um, they weren't too portable. They were real long um, boards that they had to put together uh, once they got, you know, a couple miles into the woods to set up. And it was heavy and um, hard to do. They were cumbersome. They weren't that portable. Today, there's, they're pretty darn portable. It's not a big deal to haul a real portable lightweight unit if you're going into the woods through rough terrain. Let me show you my plein air setup. I have three different ones. Here's my most basic setup. It's a Winsor Newton foldable. You can see it's been used a lot. A lot of paintings on here. And you take it out, you set up the legs, and then this goes across. It just clips right in, and you're set. Very simple, very easy to use, and um, it can take a really big painting. It can probably take a good 30 by 30 painting in there. So the next box I'm going to talk about is a real workhorse. It's uh, a Gorilla Painter Gorilla Box, and I've used this for years. It's their 9 by 12 version, and this works hard. It's really a neat box. It's a um, called a pochade and you use it in conjunction with a photographer's tripod. Um, I've used this one for years, and there's a little mounting mechanism underneath that you can mount it to almost any um, tripod that you want. And I use a screw mount, you just kind of sit it on top, and you screw the box in, and voila, it's good to go. Just adjust that, and adjust this, Open it up. Bring you a little closer and get a better look at it. So anything that's 12 inches, 9 by 12, this is a uh, 12 inch wide um, piece that you can just slip it right in. Anything smaller, uh, it's just easy to put in like that and it'll just stay where it is kind of nice. So that's where you do, that's where you hold your painting. That's kind of like the easel part. And then you open it up and I mix paint here and here. Brushes 
find a brush holder. Just stick the brushes in the side there and it'll hold the brushes. And then the paints. I open up the top and there's my paints. And this um, fits re really well in this. Um, this is a Gorilla paint palette as well. And it fits, it's made to fit perfectly inside. Now you take this out and you've got a box underneath and you've got separate um, areas. So sometimes I'll put my paints in here in, in the tubes and here's where I'll put um, turpentine or whatever I'm using um, for media in here and in here is where you put brushes. So it's a really nice setup. So I have loved this setup. It's just perfect for me. The problem I've had is that it's just so heavy. I mean, when I first got the Peshad box years ago, I had to go. Th I, I had to go through three tripods before I found one that would um, be able to handle its weight. I finally found this tripod in an old thrift store. <laughs> it's heavy duty, and it's the thing is, is this is heavy, and now this is heavy too. So it's not as portable as I'd really like it to be. It, it would be fine if I wasn't traveling, but when I'm going on an airplane and I have to pack light, this just has not worked that well. Um, and then when I go out here, I need other gear. I need a chair. I need a, an artist umbrella to keep me in the shade. Let me show you what I use when I go out, um, other than my pushad box and my tripod, and I'll show you another one, the one that I really love, in a minute. But come on, let's take a look in my car trunk so I can show you the other gear that I need when I go out plein air painting. I keep a different set of everything in my car trunk because I'm out there all the time. My studio, I have my studio gear, and in my trunk I have my car trunk stuff. So. I've got one chair, it's a camping trip chair, so it's real small and short, and it folds up really, really small. So I love this one, um, it's, uh, I got it on Amazon from a camping store, it's pretty great, and it folds up pretty small, it's the smallest one I could find anyway. Then I have my umbrella. So you just stick it in the ground, push down put the umbrella in and you got all the shade you need so so this is what I'm using now I love it um, this summer I was planning a three-month painting trip to Scotland which is canceled now but oh well and I just couldn't handle all the heavy gear outside which was this setup I couldn't handle that it's too heavy for the airplane so I went on a search for more lightweight gear and I'd been eyeing a friend's box which she uses a um, Strata metal box and I liked it. I really liked her box because it's sturdy compared to wooden boxes. It is wooden. It doesn't look wood but it is wooden so it's not as sturdy as the Strata. But I needed a small easel. It had everything I needed and it was very small, very lightweight. It is featherweight. It is so light. So basically, it works with magnets, so these hold the paintings in, and you adjust them, take them off, adjust them, and you can put all different sizes of paintings in there. And you mix your paint on here, so as I'm painting along, I'll have my brushes right here, and that really makes a good setup. What I'm using 100% of the time now. I keep my plein air box from Gorilla because I like it and maybe sometime in the future it's I'll use it again. It's a backup. But this is what I like a lot. This is the logo of the company. It's Edge Pro and I totally recommend it. And they're not paying me to do this. This is just me. I love their, um, their boxes and I just want to give them a little plug because they have really made my job easy. Where all the other gear is? My paints, all the other stuff. Well, I keep them in a just a duffel bag or, or whatever I have around. I have my paints in a Christmas cookie box. 
and everything else that I need is all throughout here.